everyone and welcome along to the 9th of December and may I just wish one of my oldest friends, Chloe, a very happy 40th birthday. Um, anyway, enough of the shout outs. Let's see what we are painting on the watercolour advent calendar today. Oh, a gorgeous cardinal. I'm looking forward to this one. Grab your paints and let's get started. So this is not the first time the Cardinal has made it onto the advent calendar. I'll never forget a few years ago not being aware of the Cardinal bird. Can you believe that? Right, so we're going to do a little oval on an angle. And then we're going to do a nice... We're going to have him sort of looking looking a bit more at us this time. So we're going to do a an oval quite high up. And from that oval we're going to get the tail and from here we're going to sort of join that tail and then we're going to get a wing okay let's bring this line up and we'll give him his wonderful little sort of mohawk <laughs> And then, oh, we're doing things difficult. Harriet, why are you making people draw a bird facing them? We're going to do a beak. Because I know that you can do it. How about that? It's not too bad, is it? And then a leg coming out from really quite far back. And we'll have a nice little little branch. Lovely. Okay, let's knock it back. I hope I don't need to tell you now that you can just pause the video and take a screenshot of the drawing if you need help with the drawing. Um, here we go. So beautiful red of the cardinal that's pretty spot on actually but I might grab a bit oh there's our own crimson just to make it even more Christmassy and then of course we need our dark tone brown blue red concoction so try and get all your colors mixed up beforehand and then we can go right shall we let's do the main body of the bird first. So I have got my red and coming down the body. I mean, it's a fairly solid color, but you can still just do your brush strokes sort of nice and sort of in the direction of feathers and things. And then I've got some pure alizar and crimson. Let's give it a little bit of that, maybe just a few strokes underneath, and I've just had an idea. I'm going to take some pure cadmium red as well. Oh, that's nice, and just layer it up over the top. How lovely. And I can just get a little bit sort of on the leg there, and a little bit there for the leg. I'm going to come up to the top of the head. We're going to be covering over a lot of this area with the really dark colour around the face. So the eye is the sort of barrier for that bit. So. Looking lovely. Okay. Look at well, he's looking quite funny, but um, he looks great. Got the crimson for the wings, and again, I'm going to use the brush strokes to try and sort of create some some wing and feather. And I think this dark colour might actually be rather useful to give the wing a little bit more depth and interest a 
lovely. Okay, I'm going to go down to my size four tenths brush for a bit more control on this next bit. I'm going to go right up underneath the beak and around the beak. And I'm going to leave the eye just for the moment and then just paint outwards. Oh, it's a good looking cardinal. So, um, like I said, I can't believe I wasn't really aware of the cardinal a few years ago. And then I also learnt that the robin that we know and love as a very Christmassy bird in the UK is a very different matter altogether in the US. The robin's a completely different type of bird and not a Christmassy one. Um, so we've all sort of learnt something new along the way. Okay, here's the eye. Just leave that tiny bit of unpainted space in there. Whilst that all dries, I'm just going to get the the legs and the feet in. So I just take a bit more of a dilute bit of that dark colour. And then I've got some burnt sienna to just create a nice branch. And I thought whilst we're waiting for things to dry, why don't we give this branch a few berries? So we'll just do a, a little a few twigs coming off. And if you paint them with those little circles and little bits of unpainted space, they look a bit more shiny. Okay, let's get some of this again, a bit more depth on it. And I'm going to just add a bit of it along the branches, give the branches a bit more depth and I can also use it a bit more strongly on the legs and actually get the feet. Lovely. And then the beak is is red, um, but I want to use just the pure cadmium red, not the mix I had of it with Alizar and Crimson because it's got quite an orangey feel to it. So just going in, just trying to leave a tiny bit of unpainted space on it actually. Really happy with that. And then I think, just because I want to try and get an even inkier black, on the eye. If I just add in a bit of blue, I can just get that tiny bit more depth on the eye there. So there we have a lovely cardinal. I'm really pleased with that. I like it. Um, and don't forget, if you enjoy bird painting, that is, and, and if you're fairly new to the channel, so I just can't help myself. I just want a few extra little, <laughs> a few extra little tufts of feathers. Um, we have so many bird painting tutorials and uh, I, I really specialize in my books as well. So maybe if you're enjoying this and you're new to watercolor and you're still thinking maybe it's time to put in a request for a Christmas present, then you can head to my shop online uh, at dewintonpaperco.com and see um, my three books and also the new, brand new reverse coloring activity book as well. Um, all just very, very proud of, put a lot of love into them and they've gone down very well. So I think you'd be, uh, yeah, you'd be very happy with one of those if you're enjoying painting along with me here today. So thank you so much. Um, I'm loving it. I'm really pleased with what we've got so far. I can't wait to see what we've got tomorrow. So thank you for watching and I will see you on the 10th.